How's what, it going? What you doing? Rigging up. I uh, did come prepared. Don't have anything tied up. Don't even have blind on my rod or reel, but yeah, it's cold out here. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode marks a pretty special day. If you guys remember last year, me and the fellas went out to Fort Peck, Montana for the first time ever to chase after lake trout. And uh, we actually made two trips last year doing that and had a lot of fun, but we are back this year with kind of the same crew. Uh, we've got a couple new people and Sam's actually here with me uh, this time. He's never caught a lake trout, so this is his first lake trout mission ever. But we uh, made the journey last night. I'm pretty tired right now. I made that seven hour drive. Uh, started at 10 p.m., got here at like 6 a.m. And yeah, we're here and everything's a little bit discombobulated. Didn't get to pull out the camera that much because number one, I was driving. And number two, once we got here, it was just kind of go time. So we threw all of our stuff on and uh, put everything in Mark's wheeler and we're out here right now. I think I'm not gonna really do much talking right now. We're just going to kind of get in this video, but literally the next couple of videos you guys are about to watch are myself and the boys in Fort Peck, Montana, chasing after the lake trout. All right, guys, Sam and I just drilled our first hole. And before we start fishing, uh, I just wanna talk a little bit of tackle and pretty much what we're gonna be doing this whole entire trip. Right now, Sam has the Twilight Frostbite Mr. Big Rod. This is a perfect lake trout rod for Fort Peck. And uh, right now he's got a little tube on there. It's an ounce, I think it's an ounce jig head with a custom bait from Breaking Bad Plastics. Uh, our buddy Hunter Han actually made a bunch of these tubes and sent them over to us to test out this trip. So we're gonna try using that and see if we can catch any lake trout. Right now, this first spot, we're kind of fishing an underground point, or underground, underwater point, and uh, it's about 65 feet where Sam and I are fishing. Essentially, for those of you that don't know anything about lake trout, these fish are super predatorial and very, very aggressive. Now. When you're lake trout fishing, I'm not the biggest like tip guy, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about, but from what I've seen in my uh, experiences, you wanna be working that whole water column. They could be on the bottom, they could be way suspended up, you know, they could be in the middle, like they could be anywhere. So you wanna be constantly moving your bait and once you start marking a fish and it starts coming at you really fast, you kinda wanna play the cat and mouse game and reel away from it and uh, that would then trigger a bite. So. That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing this uh, this trip here. I mean, we're gonna try to get as much film as you guys, for you guys as possible on the GoPro, on this camera, and hopefully we have one good hell of a weekend here with the boys. And yeah, let's get it started. More marking. Oh, get it. There we go, fish out. First laker ever? Possibly? We'll see. He's not very big. He's just a dinky little guy. He's so cute. Oh, well, I just caught my first ever lake trout. Little baby guy. We'll get him back in the water. Hi. Well, sweet. First lake trout. I felt pretty good. Alright everybody, just a little update. We've all been fishing this area for probably about an uh, hour and a half or so. And I think the total fish count for the group so far is six fish here. Colin caught a pretty nice one. It was a little bit above 30 inches. And as you guys saw, Sam caught uh, a dinky little one, but he put the Mindak boys on the board. If you guys wanna see everybody else's fish catches, you can go over to their YouTube channels and check them out. They'll be linked down below. Apparently all my friends are just YouTubers now. So 
that's cool. But we're actually going to pack up and move locations in hopes to catch some more Lakers and some big old shovel noses. I'm no Laker, brother. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on, Sweary. Hang on. And are you marking? Yes. Come on. Oh. It's not chasing super hard. Wow, he is just not, not really being very uh, active. Hey, come over here with your bait, bro. Is it still on you? Yeah, he's he's just not committing. Maybe he just doesn't want what I have. Here, you dro just start dropping yours down. Like I got him up to twenty feet. No, I don't think he hit it. What was that, boy? I don't think he hit it. <laughs> you gotta be excited. <laughs> I thought he I don't think he hit it. I guess I'll grab it, but yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious, bro. <laughs> that was so funny. Took forever to get that fish to commit, man. On the uh, the old hair jig for Mr. Sweary. Feels <sighs> okay, not giant. Right. Leader. Uh, barely got him, dude. Look at that. That's bigger than the other one you caught, though. Right. Barely. Well, All Jacob, right. we work for that one, brother. That is beautiful. Small, but beautiful. Get this guy back down the hole. Thank you, John, for uh, letting me catch that. Right on, brother. Let's that was go. just funny watching that him. That was good. I should have had a flasher cam because it was pretty funny that to watch good. him go up and down. Right on. Well, little update. Jacob Swear and I decided to go a little bit away from where everybody else is fishing. And uh, we're, we're fishing just a, a, uh, a shelf that kind of goes down pretty, pretty steep. And uh, Jacob's in about 55 feet of water, then I'm on 70 feet of water. We're not very far away from each other. Mark that fish, came up at me, wouldn't commit to the, to the Dragon Slayer. So I'm like, Sweary, come over here. He dropped down and Sweary worked him, worked him real good. I'm on! Oh! Oh no! Oh, what the heck just happened? Holy crap, that was freaking sick. That was so cool, boys. Oh my gosh. That was exhilarating. I don't even know what I was trying to do. I was trying to do something. No, I'm good! I'm good! I was uh, trying to do, s oh. This is, so I missed this. I missed this. All of a sudden, I looked down, and uh, I just I saw like one mark, or it was like three giant marks. Okay, this is big. It's bigger for sure. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh God, dude, he crushed the. Oh my goodness. Absolutely crushed the dragon slayer. Oh my god. Nick! <laughs> this is big, bro. Oh my dude, he's he's been peeling line for the longest time, bro. Oh god. I just ran a quarter mile. <laughs> oh my shout out to Nick, dude. I didn't think it was big, and then all of a sudden I started doing these runs and stuff. Oh wow. 
That's a lot of weight. This this is this is a lot of weight. This might be my PB. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just dropped you off too. You just dropped me off, and dude, I, I was trying to fix something over or something. I looked I look up at my screen and there's a giant mark on me. And I just reeled up a little bit and just sent the hook set on him, dude. My, I saw my, you actually hook up on him. Dude. <laughs> this might be this might be decent. My, oh. my arm's dead right now, Nick, by it's, the way. It's fighting pretty decent. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, getting a, a good workout in in the Mr. Big. I just hope I have a really good hook into him. I have a stinger hook and the actual hook on it, so it was right at the hole. That's uh, pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, Fat. Dude. dude, it just kills my arm right now. Oh. This is the sketchy part, guys, at the hole. You don't want to rush this process. No, he's just sitting there going like this. Yeah. Oh, oh dude, his head's big. Yeah. I don't want to like... Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that is a... Sh oh, man. That is close to my biggest laker ever, dude. Honestly. Holy crap. Let me get it out of here. All right, guys, just caught this fish right here. Probably a 30 inch or so. Got a nice little gut on them. Has some big old chompers on them, as you can see. Just a, a beauty of a fish. I don't want to keep them out of the water too long, but wow, that was freaking a rush. All right, guys, one more look at the big girl here. We're gonna get them back in the water. Oh, these fish are so sick. So cool. It's ready to go. <laughs> Huge shout out to Nick for running over a, literally a mile to grab that for me. That was an adrenaline rush. That was fun. Uh, right now, I'm fishing kind of like an underwater island. So basically right here, I'm on the top of the island and it's about 49 feet. Literally probably 20 yards that way, gets to like 100 feet. So kind of fishing, fishing that structure. Um, that didn't take very long. He came and smoked it and I got that one on the frostbite head spinner and the dragon slayer. What a freaking adrenaline rush. Let's see if we can catch any more. Just show them. Yep. It's not that big, I don't think. Feels heavy, but I don't think she's that big. I bet she's she like a feels heavy. Down. I don't I don't know. Uh, this is my second lake trout I've ever hooked. Came out of nowhere. Yeah. It's all of a sudden there's a mark. That's kind of lit. Slayman's hopefully first. Ooh. Oh, hey brother. Do you like that? That is pretty lit. That hey. does feel good after catching six inch perch <laughs> for the last two months. <laughs> well guys, it's been a minute. Um, there hasn't been much action. It's just been mostly a lot of fishing, but not a lot of catching Clean. until Slayman broke the ice here. Oh, jeez! Look at the stomach on Dude, that! Dude, that thing's got a gut! <laughs> oh my god! Nice! God oh, no. dang, Slayman! Holy crap, Sam! 29 and a half? Yeah, we'll call that 29 and a half. Let me, let me see that. Your first ever big laker? Well, my second lake trout ever, to yeah. be exact, but yeah, it is fat. 
That's awesome, bro. <laughs> we'll get some pictures and get them back. Oh, baby. Slayman's nice old laker here. Gonna go. Tummy. Oh, yeah, that tummy you is. You can feel a fish in there. Oh, yeah, some Cisco's or something in there, yeah. old son? Or some really flavor. beautiful fish, dude. Wow. Oh, yeah. They're such a powerful fish, though, eh? Man. Oh. See ya. See ya. Hey, that was lit, dude. I want to get another. On him, baby. Woo! Small little gay. I think. Gay's yeah, not very good. Oh, there you go. It's quick release. Quick release. And a little dinky guy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a little bit. Um, I think the last time you guys saw us, we were catching some fish out there, uh, but it got too cold and we had a boogie off, and then there were some issues at the boat launch, uh, getting up the ramp and all that stuff. But anyways, we made it back to our Airbnb. If you guys remember last year, we actually ended up staying at the all famous Fort Peck Motel. And if you guys don't remember the story behind that, you're gonna have to go back and watch it. But basically we stayed at this place literally down the street from our Airbnb right now. And it was haunted, apparently. Google it, I, that's just what everybody tells me. So um, I got fired from uh, being the guy that is in charge of booking places to stay because I booked the haunted place, I guess. Uh, Sweary found this place and it's actually pretty nice. So we just came in right there and let's, I'm gonna give you the whole tour of this Airbnb. Let me turn this light on, all right? Light on. Look at this lighting, number one, it's fire. And then this is just our standard kitchen, all right? You keep walking over here and is there another light over here? Bam, we got a little dining room right here backyard and then a nice big old living room look at that got the nice floor nice little couch over there brought in a bunch of things to thaw uh have all the rods right there and i actually it's my first time seeing this tv that thing is absolutely massive but walk over here and yeah we're kind of it made a big loop so that's where i just showed you guys and that's a bathroom but now i'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys what it looks like What are you doing, bucko? I was just using the pisser because Sweary's taking a dookie, bro. He stunk the house up the first time in here, and now I can't go in there because he's pooping again. Any huser, what up, Schleyman? Hey, what up? How's it going? So, I, I guess I got stuck with you for roommates, eh? huh? Is that, is that what happened? Yeah, did you want someone else? Oh, did you hear that? So, this is Sam and I's room. Pretty standard. It's actually very big. And we brought all of our Eskimo stuff in to dry out. Uh, we got charging stations everywhere, uh, more charging stations. And then Sam and I even got our own little bathroom. What the heck, Sam? Dude, we, we, me and Sam living in luxury right here. You see that? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, is this your room too, bud? Actually, I'm editing for you. Oh, well, show, show me your room. I showed us, Sam showed us our room. Show me your room now. Well, Mm -hmm. whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Put some pants on, you freaking weirdo. Okay. This is it. This is the abode. Uh, we got cameraman Colin. Yeah, he was in our bathroom doing God knows what. I'm but mad. cameraman Colin doing computer man Colin stuff. Oh, 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 oh. What up, fellow Al brother? Quality silhouettes. The pro's choice. <laughs> so yeah, this is Dustin Colin's room. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. And then old man Mark got, uh, well, he snores a lot apparently, so you got your own room, isn't that right? That's correct. Do, will we still hear you uh, snoring? Okay. Uh, 
All right, this is Mark's room. You got a lot yeah, of battery. Yeah, I want five minutes to fall asleep. Yeah, I bet you'll be falling asleep as soon as I close this door. You're gonna be, you're gonna be out. <laughs> and then, last but not least, oh man. Why'd you say it like that? What? Yeah, what kind he of looks. Nick looks like he's ready to be the little spoon. He's just, <laughs> he's just waiting on you, man. I'm single, man. So this is the troublemaker's room. Um, they got a, they got a big old charging station as well, just like Sam and I. Uh, a little little bigger garden than mine though, because you're a beast. And then yeah, that's pretty much it for the house tour. It's Big Al's biggest fan. Get it? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It. I'm so tired right now. Very tired. Um, I'm running on maybe, I haven't slept in a long time, guys. I don't even know how long it's been. But um, what a day to kick off the Fort Peck trip with the boys. We ended up with 18 lake trout between everybody. Yes, I only caught one, rip in the chat. Uh, Sam ended up catching, I think, three or so and that nice fat one. And then I think Dustin maybe caught the big one so far the trip, which was like a 31 inch or so. Um, again, if you guys wanna see any of the other guys' catches that they caught today, you're gonna have to go over to their channels. They'll be linked down below. They're my homies. Um, so definitely go run it up for them and let them know that I sent you. But with that being said, guys, we are gonna close this video out. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what kind of videos do you wanna see on Fort Peck, okay? I'm posting this video literally tomorrow and then we'll still be here when this video is posted for another three days. So we'll have three more days. I'm gonna be reading your comments and Sam and I are gonna choose a lucky few people's ideas to do while we are here. So I'm interested to see uh, what kind of creative things you guys can come up with. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.